Welcome to this comprehensive Team Gantt tutorial for beginners, where we'll walk you through everything you know to, to create, manage, and optimize Gantt charts for your projects. Whether you're planning a marketing campaign, managing a construction timeline, or tracking software development, Team Gantt is a user-friendly and powerful tool designed to simplify project planning. By the end of this step-by-step -step guide, you will understand the key features of Team Gantt, how to set up your first project, and tips for making the most of this platform in 2025. So before we get started, first, what is Team Gantt? Team Gantt is an online project management tool that enables you to create visually appealing and easy to use Gantt charts. Gantt charts are powerful tools for visualizing project timelines, assigning tasks, and ensuring that projects stay on track. Unlike traditional project management tools, Team Gantt focuses on simplicity and collaboration, making it accessible even to beginners. It's ideal for small teams, freelancers, and large organizations alike. The software is cloud-based, so your entire team can collaborate in real time wherever they are. So now let's get started. So simply head over to teamgantt.com. So this is their website, and from here, you can try it for free. So simply click on Try Free and sign up for an account. After signing up, you will now be redirected to this page. So as you can see, you'll be asked what features are you interested in exploring. So you can select all that apply. So let's say we want basic project scheduling, collaboration, reporting, workload management. Now let's click on Next. So tell us a bit uh, more about yourself and what you hope to get out of Team Gantt. So say, what kind of work does your team do? Let's say marketing. How many people? Let's say five. Self-guided. What's best uh, describes your accomplishment with Team Gantt? A basic Gantt chart for myself. Now click on Next. So now you want to uh, choose your plan so you can unlock all the pro features, but let's just click on no thanks. Now let's create our new project. So I'm just going to name it as test. The default view is a Gantt, days and week. Now click on create project. And now we will be welcomed by a video. As you can see right here, you can watch a video right here. So we don't, uh, if you want, you can watch it on your own, but we won't be watching it in this video. So now let's go to our main. So this is your main dashboard. So from here, you will see all of your projects. So as you can see, this is the one I just created. So you can see all your active projects, your on hold and your completed projects. So if you want to add a new project, you can always click here in the top right to new project. But if you have the free trial only, you can only create one project. So now we can also see my tasks right here. Your portfolio, your projects, your custom boards, your tasks, and your timesheets. Now let's move on to our project. So let's just uh, open our project. So as you can see, this is how it will look like. So as you can see, this is our Gantt chart. So in the right side, we will see personalized videos where uh, you can watch training videos on how you can optimize or use your team Gantt uh, projects. So as you can see, we will see a calendar right here. This is how it will look like. So let's say for this day, you have a task, you can always move this. So you can add a name also. So click to rename first group, group one. And first task is introduction, let's just say. Or 
or just let's say just first class. Now we can add a task, a milestone, or group of tasks. So let's say we want to add a new task here on boarding. Let's just say it like that. And now you can edit all of this information right here. So you can move it to, let's say you want this task to be done on a specific date. So you can move it on the specific date. You can also uh, double click on it so you can see uh, who are the people assigned, the labels, the completion status, the start and end date, the details, and of course, you can add comments and upload files. So basically, this is how your Gantt chart is going to work. So for the other features, you can always see your project as a list view. So again, this is only available for the pro uh, subscription. You can also see your calendar. So in the free trial, you can all only use or see your Gantt chart. You can't use this other uh, sections or features right here. So let's move on next. So we have our discussions right here. So again, the discussions is only available for the pro version. So in the discussions, you can create some mentions. You can add comments to the tasks that you have created. So let's say you want to mention a team member. So you want to follow him or her up that you want the task to be done urgently. So basically that's how uh, the discussions are uh, work. Next is reports. So as you can see, we have uh, reports from Team Gantt right here, such as the project health, and the other one, which is uh, let's just, oops. the other one, which is the workloads. Next is the search. So from here in the search uh, icon, you can always search for your projects, boards, or tasks. And let's go back to our project. From here, you can also add your team members. So simply go to people. And from here, click on invite people and simply search them by their name or email. And we can add this custom message and click on add to project. So when this people accepts your invitation, they can now be also working with you in your team Gantt project. So basically, that's all of the features of team Gantt. Just feel free to explore more about its features and try the pro a uh, subscription if you want. So that's basically it for this video. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.